And we are following breaking news. Students finally being released from Stoller Middle School in the Beaverton School District after someone emailed the school threatening violence. At 5 o'clock, I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. The school is on Northwest Laidlaw in the Bethany area. It went into lockdown just before 1230. Our Cole Miller is now live on scene with the very latest. What can you tell us, Cole? Well, Jennifer, Jeff, good evening. No doubt a scary incident for faculty, staff, and those students here at Stoller Elementary. As you mentioned, we had heard that at around 445 or so, they were going to start letting those students out. I want a quick step out of the way here. These parents now showing up, and boy, Northwest Laidlaw is just stacked up with cars in either direction as they spill out from the parking lot here at the school onto the street. Now we'll push into the school here again. This all came down at about 1220 or so. That's when the school went into lockdown. That means the doors on the outside are locked as well as those classroom doors as as well. Uh, those threats sent by email to members of the Beaverton School District prompting all of this. A nearby elementary school also went into lockout earlier today. That lockout means just those outside doors were locked. The classroom doors were not locked. Everything is back to business at that elementary school. So again, uh, this has been kind of a, a long day again for these parents. They were told they'd be able to pick up their kids at around 4. Then it was bumped to 4.45. And as you can see, they are still waiting in these very long lines to pick up their kids. Now, the Washington County Sheriff's Office does continue to investigate those threats. They're asking these parents to bring photo ID when they do come to pick up their children. The nearby neighborhoods packed with cars, packed with parents parking over there and walking across the street. You might be able to see some of them passing behind me now. As of this time, there's no indication they haven't gotten to the bottom of where those threats came from. So, of course, once we learn more, once we hear from the Washington County Sheriff's Office, we'll be sure to pass that along. But for now, we'll send it back to you there in the studio. Okay, Cole is continuing to follow that story. Any new developments, we'll be switching back to him. Cole, thank you. In our other time